What's up Pockets here and today I'll be giving a mining guide for a laptop slash gaming laptops. So what I have here as my mining rig is the HB Omen 15 equipped with the RTX 3070. Currently I'm mining with NiceHash, before anything I'll explain why I mine on a laptop and why I'm using NiceHash. This is just going to be a little thesis part so if you want the guide immediately you could skip to that part of the video. You should be able to see it on the timeline of the video. So I know lots of people say that you shouldn't really mine on a laptop, especially not with an expensive laptop because of shortened lifespan and risk of it dying prematurely. Frankly, I think that would be fine as long as you don't compromise on anything in this guide and as long as you, your temperatures are all under control. Which means not just a GPU die temperature, but also VRM temperature, VRM temperature, so on and so forth. So the second thing I have to tell you is why I'm using NiceHash. I know there are lots more softwares that are much more profitable, but frankly I'm not very into the mining department. I'm sticking with NiceHash because of its convenience. I'm more focused into the technicalities of PCs in general. Since I'm more into the technicalities and such, like temperatures, cooling, power, that's why I've made this guide. This guide is more towards maintenance really, so if you want to know what's the best mining programs to use, then try watching some other videos specifically on the mining side. So on to the actual guide. So first things first, we need to set a baseline for temperatures and hash rate. Hash rate is basically how much hash your PC is producing per second. So here I'm just going to use nice hash. It's easy to set up and y'all can probably set it up under 3 minutes. From there, install MS Afterburner 2. We're going to set up a custom mining profile based on your GPU to get the lowest temperatures, lowest power, but highest hash rates. So now we can probably go and hop on reddit and search up a specific GPU to, fi to figure out what's the best mining setting for your rig. After that, you might want to experiment yourself with a core clock and memory clock. The key to mining is basically you want to find the lowest core clock for the lowest temperature while setting the memory clock as high as you can. Mining really depends on memory clock. Every GPU is built different, so not everything on your internet might apply to your rig, so maybe experiment in small increments, maybe plus 5 for memory clock, or minus 5 for core clock, and find your rig's limit. Also, do mind the hash rates, because if, even if you've reached really really high memory clock, your hash rates can actually drop instead, so figure out the sweet spot. So from there, we can download HWinfo or hardware info. There we can monitor our GPU temperature and not just overall GPU temperature like from MS Afterburner. We can actually monitor everything like VRM, VRM, VRAM temperature and actual GPU die temperature. So these are the temperatures of my system. As you can see, it's all very reasonable. I'm not gonna lie, these temperatures are super impressive for a laptop. Even my actual 3070 PC mines at 55 to 60 Celsius. The VRAM and VRM temperatures are also very similar to my actual PC, so I can sleep at night without worrying if my laptop will die or not. Every GPU's safe mining temperature differs. For example, a 3070 for both my PC and laptop, the VRM temperatures are safe at around 70 to 80C. It is normal that VRAM temperatures are higher than the actual GPU dice temperature. Oh, also for some advice, you might want to undervote a CPU to its minimum stable setting so your CPU can just chill, which means both cool and staying idle. And also so that it sucks the least amount of power. So let's go to the physical slash hardware. If you're really serious about long term mining, you need to take all these precautions and do not compromise. So the number one thing to do is to set your laptop at a reasonable fan speed. My Omen 15 here has a balanced and performance mode. Unfortunately, if I set the power mode to balanced, it cuts out the maximum potential of my GPU, so therefore I must use the performance mode. In performance mode, this fan speed is capped at a minimum of 50%, so let's just stick with that since it's actually more than enough for the cooling of my 115. So the second thing to do is to replace the thermal paste to your laptop, whether it's new or old. I've only had my own 15 for a couple of months, but I still decided to switch out the factory thermal paste. The factory thermal paste is fine, but it's only fine. Since we're really mining long term, as I said, we should not compromise. So then I switched out the factory thermal paste that was covering the CPU and GPU with the Arctic MX5. I did use the Arctic Silver 5 before, both on my PC and laptop, thinking that it was still the best, but turns out when I switched to the Arctic MX4, it was just significantly better. It was like 10, 10 degrees cooler than the Arctic Silver 5. 
So I forgot to put this in the video, uh, what a stupid mistake, since this is such a major thing, but you also need to disconnect the battery, no matter if it's internal or external. In this case, it's internal battery, so you gotta take, take disassemble the laptop, take the battery out. Um, I rarely use my laptop outside, therefore I just let my laptop run 24-7 mining. Keeping the battery inside the laptop and letting it stay 100% plugged in is just no bueno. It might break and even blow the battery laptop eventually, so just keep it outside your laptop. I mean, yeah, this is a gaming laptop, so you, you, you'll, you'll be relying on AC power anyway, so just better safe than sorry. So the third thing to do is to put your laptop on a stand so that the laptop can suck more air from under. Therefore, I just bought this metal stand for like 10 bucks since the Omen 15 is a thick heavyweight bot. It's a whole 5 degrees cooler with a stand compared to just placing on a regular desk. Alternatively, uh, you can also use the laptop cooler. Personally, I would use the laptop cooler because it's more effective and as I said before, no compromises. And here, this is no regular laptop cooler. This is a cooler with 5,000 RPM server fans stuck on it. It's so powerful, it runs on AC power and a few so it doesn't blow up. This all might sound amazing, and yes it does, compared to using a regular stand. With a regular stand, I think it does like 60 to 63, and with, the, with this setup, it's 57 to 60, and no more or no, no less. And this very overkill laptop cooler it already is significant to a high-end already cool laptop so i'm very sure that it would affect majorly and more significant on hotter laptops so this cooler is custom made to accommodate the heat pipes and fan location of my 115 this is more of a diy thing so i think reg getting a re regular laptop cooler will work though it's less significant Though, if you can get overkill fans and is a bit of a craftsman, then go for this cooler setup. Also, I do aim my AC a bit angled downwards straight for the laptop, so I'm not sure if this affects anything. So maintenance for this laptop work is going to be pretty basic actually. Since HP caps my fans at 50% for performance mode, I expect the laptop fans to die in 2 or 3 years. There are only fans though, so no biggie, you can always replace it for cheap. But that does mean that dust accumulates faster. I keep a brush around to clean the outside filters every week or so, but the internals are also cleaned every 5 months or so. Thermal paste is going to be changed I think when temperatures start rising up again, so approximately a year. So in conclusion, I think it's fine to mine a laptop as long as you keep the temperatures under control. And let me repeat what I said previously, do not compromise. And well, right now I'm in high school, so all this money I can collect would really really help. I'm pretty conf confident in my laptop and PC's cooling potential, so I can let them mine 24-7 even at school. I just stop mining when I'm playing heavy intensive games, because the fans, th they can be pretty loud, especially at night, but you get used to it. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for those who subscribe, I never really liked asking and begging people for likes and subs, and I'm not really sure where the channel is heading, so I'm sorry for the rare uploads, I really don't know what to do with this channel anymore. Anyway, thank you again and peace out.